Hi guys, let's learn how to solve an angle problem. Here's a composite shape, and we need to work out all the unknown angles. Whoa, that looks pretty tough, but we can solve for each value by using lots of little steps. The first step is to identify all the important information. So let's have a look. All right, so on this composite shape, I can see a right angled triangle. So I know that A, 90 degrees, and E are going to add to 180 degrees. I can see another triangle too. I can see an isosceles triangle here. So that tells me that A and B must be equal angles and that A, B and C are going to add to 180 degrees. Hmm. I can see a quadrilateral too, here. So I know that the angle is 150 degrees, D, the right angle, and E are going to add to 360 degrees. And there's one more thing I can see. The angles B and 150 are supplementary because they're both on a straight line. And that's the same for C and D. So that's all the information. Where do we start? I think I'm going to start with supplementary angles. Let's start with B. So to find the value of B, I need to subtract 150 from 180 degrees. 180 minus 150 is 30 degrees. So B is equal to 30 degrees. Let's label that. Now we can find A. Since this is an isosceles triangle, we know that these two angles are equal. So that means that A is equal to 30 degrees. Let's label it. Now we know two angles in the isosceles triangle, so we can work out the third angle, which is C. All right, so to work out C, we subtract 30 and 30 from 180 degrees. 30 plus 30 is 60, so 180 degrees minus 60 degrees leaves us with 120 degrees. So that means that C is equal to 120 degrees. Now we can find D. Because C and D are supplementary, I can find the value of D by subtracting 120 degrees from 180 degrees. 180 minus 120 is 60 degrees. So that means that D is equal to 60 degrees. We've only got one angle left, E. So to work out E, we can do one of two things. We can use the quadrilateral, or we can use the right angle triangle. I think I'll use the triangle. So to find E, I need to subtract the angles A, which is 30 degrees, and 90 degrees from 180. 90 plus 30 is 120, so 180 minus 120 leaves me with 60 degrees. So that means that E is equal to 60 degrees. And that's it, we've done it. We've found all the unknown angles using lots of little steps. So when you need to solve an angle problem on composite shapes, make sure you identify all the important information and then you'll be ready to solve.